Hello there. Welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Selecting objects in Blender is probably one of the toughest areas to master for an absolute beginner. There is a lot going on in this feature which can be confusing at first. The Blender team has provided a number of ways in which you can select objects in Blender. This video will provide you with some simple ways to select objects. First things first on how to select an object. Just simply left click on the object to select it. You can see the object gets a slight yellow color outline, which indicates that the object is now selected. To deselect this, just simply left click somewhere else in the viewport. Remember, just left click to select and click anywhere else to deselect. You can also do this action using the outliner. Here you can see all the objects we have in our scene. From this, just click on the object you want to get selected, and there you go. This is the absolute basics in the selection topic. Before moving any further, we have to see the difference between active object, selected object, and unselected object. From left to right, active object is the one with the yellow outline, and the selected object is the one with the orange outline. The black outline one is the unselected object. There can be any number of selected objects in the scene, but there can be only one active object. And also, remember one thing, the properties window down here changes according to the active object, not the selected object. Now that we've seen this, let's move on further. Selecting multiple objects at a time might be a little bit tricky at some point. There are actually two cases to select multiple objects at a time. The first case being that you want to select everything that's within a boundary, and the second one being that you have to select multiple objects manually all by yourself. For the first case, we have three selection methods in the Blender. The first one is Box Select. To do this, you can just simply drag using the left mouse button to select everything that's in range. The other method is to use the hotkey B to open the box select tool. There are even multiple selection options. First one will add a new selection every time you drag. The second one will extend the existing selection. The third one will just subtract from the existing selection. The fourth one will just invert the existing selection. The fifth one kind of behaves like an intersection with the existing selection. To deselect, press Ctrl and then drag to deselect everything within the region. The next one is Circle Select. If you look at this arrow key right here, you can see the small little triangle at the bottom. Whenever you see this, that means that tool has more features or other tools related to it. Click this and let go of your mouse over Circle Select. This tool is like a selection brush. All you have to do is just click and paint it over the object to select it. You can also use the hotkey C to activate Circle Select. Sometimes, even if you click and paint it over an object, you can't select it. That's because the Circle Select works based on the point of origin. As you can see, the origin for this cube is not at the center of the cube, but right here. We will see how to move the origins in the upcoming videos. Now, if you use Circle Select over this origin, it will select the cube as well. From the Circle Select menu, you can even change the radius of the brush size. If you want to deselect the objects while you are in Circle Select, all you have to do is click middle mouse button and just brush over the objects you want to deselect. Next, we are going to see the Lasso Select tool. It's more like a custom freeform selection tool. Just like Circle Select, Lasso Select also works based on the point of origin only. If the point of origin is within the region, it will select the object, and if it's not, it won't select the object. Next, if you want to select multiple items manually all by yourself, press and hold Shift and select multiple objects at a time. If you want to deselect, just do the same on any selected objects. This will turn it into an active object and do this one more time to make it as unselected. Another way you can do selection is by using the outliner. Hold shift and select two objects which will select each and every object within that range. To select just those two objects, hold control and select. Now, what if you want to select all the objects in your scene? For that, go to this select menu and select all. You can also do this by hotkey A to select everything that's on the scene. If you want to deselect everything, you do it either by using the select none option on this menu, 
or by using the hotkey Alt A to deselect everything. To do the invert selection, first make a selection out of the objects in your scene. Go to the Select menu and click Invert. You can also do this by hotkey Ctrl I. A quick side note, if you have objects where one is obscured by another, let's just say like this cube and sphere, and you want to select the sphere, you can just double click on the region of the sphere to select it, but if you double click in the cube outside the sphere area, it won't select the sphere. So, just be mindful while doing these. Practice and get used to these simple but under the hood concepts. So, We've made it to the end of this tutorial. We will see some other good stuff in the upcoming tutorials. Stay tuned and see you in the next video.